Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek, and today Apple did release iOS 10.2.1 to the public. As you guys may know, the firmware itself doesn't bring many new changes. It just fixes a few bugs. However, there are some major ones, like the messages crashing or just general problems with the software. Those have not been fixed. But first things first, if you are currently beta testing iOS 10.2.1 like I am on this iPod Touch, you may have noticed that there is no new software update because the latest beta, I believe it's beta 4 of iOS 10.2.1, is the latest version. So there is no need to update again. The only problem is iOS 10.2.1 has better security, which means it's going to be a lot more difficult to develop a jailbreak for. So right now, if you are on iOS 10.1.1, you'll have a much better chance of getting a stable jailbreak. If you like to jailbreak, don't update to iOS 10.2.1. But you might be asking yourself, should I update to 10.2 while Apple is still signing it? And this is where it gets a little complex. If you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus and you're on 10.2, I'm sorry, Luca Tedesco did say that those two devices are not supported on his upcoming 10.2 jailbreak. However, if you're still on iOS 10.1.1 on your iPhone 7, you should definitely stay there if you want to jailbreak. Now, what about the rest of us? You know, those of us with 64-bit devices that are not an iPhone 7, like this iPhone SE or the iPod 6 like I have here or the iPhone 6S, the 6. What about all of us? Well, let me show you. Luca Tedesco on Twitter did say this, that he will stop all public iOS research after he drops the 10.2 thing. And of course, the 10.2 thing is the 10.2 jailbreak that he's promised. The idiocy of the jailbreak community is too much to handle for me because people have been just bugging him too much on Twitter and he's had enough of it. So he's going to stop developing iOS jailbreaks after the 10.2 jailbreak. Let this be a lesson to some of those out there. So basically, the bad news is Luca is leaving us. But the good news is that we will have a 10.2 jailbreak on those of us that are not on iPhone 7s. And if your iPhone 7 is on iOS 10.2, um, I don't know what to say to you. You're, you're kind of stuck. Now, for those of you who are currently on iOS 10.1.1 or iOS 10.2.1, you might be wondering, should I go to 10.2? Good question. In my opinion, yes you should, because you'll get those new emojis, those new security fixes, basically the latest and greatest, and a jailbreak. I mean, what's not to like? So since Apple is still signing iOS 10.2, I'll be quickly showing you guys how to install it on your device, if you're not on it already. Again, don't do this on an iPhone 7. Alright, you are going to need a Mac or Windows PC, and you're going to need the specific IPSW file for your device. And I'll have everything in the description. You should have iTunes installed and then just plug in your device. Once iTunes shows up, click on the little device button. Then on a Windows computer, hold down the shift key. And if you're on a Mac, hold down the option key. Click on update or check for update. And in here, you want to look for the IPSW file that you should have already downloaded. And this is mine, iPhone SE iOS 10.2. Click open and hit update in iTunes. And that is it. As long as Apple is signing this firmware, your device will update to iOS 10.2 without any trouble. Now, your device may ask you for your password, so I will enter mine real quick, and the update process will continue. The only reason you should be doing this is if you want new features on your 64-bit device that is not an iPhone 7. If you do have an iPhone 7, again, stay on 10.1.1 to be safe. Alright you guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, that'd be great. Hit the subscribe button to help me get to 10k subs. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you want to, hit the little bell, that way you never miss a video from me. So whenever things like this come out that are time critical, you'll be the first one to know. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.